Hey guys, what's going on? Brandon here, and today I'm doing my review for 1917. 1917 is a film, it's a, it's a war film, directed by Sam Mendes, who is a fantastic director. And it's a movie that's set um, during the, in the First World War. And, uh, you know, it's, it's about this, um, the soldier that's played by uh, Dean Charles Chapman who has to go and, you know, he has to warn this, um, this other, this, uh, this other, like, group of soldiers about a, um, about a, um, like, a, a sabotage, basically. The, this group of soldiers, they're going in to attack, and it's actually planned that, you know, a, a sabotage is planned during that. Um, so, he, uh, he gets help from his friend, played by, uh, George McKay, and they go off on this, uh, you know, there's some really good, they're, they're great in this movie, both of them are fantastic, and there's some really good supporting characters, too, um, specifically, uh, um, specifically Colin Firth's character, Mark Strong's mm -hmm. character, and Benedict Cumberbatch's character, even though he's not, in, even though none of them three are in the movie much, they're they're very small roles, but when they're in there, they are great. And um, I'm I'm so happy that they were so good, because it, it really does play a role. Because even though they're not in the movie much, they really all have like one scene each. But but really, it plays those characters are still pretty big characters um they're big in like that in in the military and they're they're you know big to get the plot moving and going in you know to the direction so they needed to be good and they were good in fact they were great and but these two lead actors are really who i want to talk about the most because they they are incredible they are just, they knock it out of the park. And I i don't think I could have, you know, casted this movie any better. I don't think, I couldn't think of an actor right now that I'd rather have in either one of these roles. They are great. And they deserve all the praise for how great they are. So, it's great. And I love the way this, this, this movie is shot. Like, it... it there's very few cuts. It, it, it's it, it feels like it's just going straight forward. It feels like there's no, like, you know, cut to a different car camera. It feels like it's just move, you know, just one singular camera shot, you know, just going through. It, it's just, it. the way it's shot is crazy to me that they were able to pull this off so well. Sam Mendes also wrote this film, and I want to give him props for that, because this movie, the writing in this film is incredible. It's perfect, and I know that, you know, this isn't really, like, a true story, per se. It's, like, based off of uh, stories he was told by his, you know, that, that, that his, uh, that his uh, grandfather, I believe, was. Or his, yeah, I think it was his grandfather that told him um, but I have no problem with that. You know, uh, you know, I loved Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. I loved Inglorious Bastards. Um, so I am, so, so in my view, you know, the changing of, you know, history, you know, this not necessarily being a true story per se, Maybe aspects of it's true, but you know, it's it's based off of stories that he was told. But these characters are are made up, is what I read anyway. Um, after seeing the movie, I was wondering uh, how much of this was actually true, and it seems like a lot of it was made up. A lot of the characters and maybe the overall story, like the event that took place, was a thing that that in some way happened, but not in this way and not uh, with these characters. 
So I love this film. And um, for me, I don't really see any real issues. 10 out of 10. Put it up, 10 out of 10. If you like this, if you uh, if you've seen this film, please uh, tell me what you thought about it in the link. I mean, in the in the comments below. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. And you can follow me on Twitter in the link in the description below. Talk to you guys next time.